Our first caller is Starla Sea Star. She's a starfish who's having some vision trouble. Great. Hello, Starla. If you've got a problem, just stop on by and I'll say hi and ask, Dear Abby, that's me. Why, hello, you delightful darling doe. I can't thank you enough for taking my call. Of course. Hop said that you've been having some vision trouble. I've been having terrible vision problems, dear. I can't see like a mime can't talk. I'm blind as a bat. Well, not blind. I do see, but not well. Just the other day, I was out for tea with my darling hubby, Sylvester Starlone, and wouldn't you know it, I spilled a teacup that wasn't more than a foot away from me because I couldn't see the blasted thing. Oh, dear. I'm so sorry to hear that you are distressed, and I will certainly try my best to be of assistance. Now, it's interesting that you mention your vision. Did you know that frequently animals and people will actually forget that starfish have eyes? Oh, trust me, dear. I have eyes like a hawk has feathers. They might just be hard to spot. Interesting choice of words, Starla, as the eyes of a starfish are called eye spots and lie underneath your skin. These eye spots are at the tip of each starfish's arms. You see, a starfish has as many eye spots as they have arms. Then how is my eyesight such an eyesore? I'm glad you asked, Starla. A starfish's eyes are wonderfully unique in that they are designed to essentially only detect light and dark, which is actually just enough for the environments that you live in. I'm not so sure about that. My spilled teacups say otherwise. You see, Starla, your vision may not be amazing, but starfish possess many other incredible defense mechanisms to protect themselves. One of those mechanisms, for example, being camouflage. Camo what now? Camouflage. Your striking colors help you blend into plants and coral and also help to ward off potential attackers. Oh, I ward off attackers like a horse's tail to a couple of flies. (laughs) It's true. And if under attack, some starfish will even shed an arm to escape the predator. Seems to me like I, too, can lend a hand to those in need. (laughs) See what I did there, doll? I slay me. Starla, I hope you see now that starfish have so much to offer. And it's okay if your vision isn't top-notch, because your other amazing talents make up for it. Well, that's a bit of terrific. I guess I had trouble seeing myself for who I really was, and now that I can, I'm happy as a clam. Ta-ta for now, darling. Sylvester's on the other line, and I shan't keep him waiting.